So in this problem, we're told to express the integral as a limit of Riemann sums. Do not evaluate the limit. We're told to use the right endpoints of each subinterval as your sample points. We're given this integral here from 3 to 9 of x minus 4 times the ln of x times dx. So in order to solve this problem, or to rewrite it as this, you need to know this formula. And I recommend that you write this down or memorize it because it's going to be extremely important for solving this problem. So basically, we're given this right here, which is this, right? This is just the standard form of it. We want to rewrite it like this. So we're going to rewrite that like that. So in order to do that, what we need to do is solve for these things right here. So we need to solve for a plus um, delta x times i and then delta x. So let's just start off by solving for delta x. So what is delta x equal to? Well, delta x equals b minus a over n. And so we know what b is and we know what a is. So b is this value right here. So if we just compare these two, uh, at top we have uh, 9. So b is going to be 9. And then on the bottom is our a. And a is th or it's 3 right here. So we're going to do our top value, so 9, minus our bottom value, 3 over n. So when we do that, we'll get 6 over n. So we know that delta x equals 6 over n, but we need to find what a um, and i is. Well, i is just going to be i, so basically we just need to figure out a. So basically we're going to do f of a, and we know that a is this right here, and a is 3. So it's going to be 3. So f of 3 plus delta x know what delta x is, we just solve for it. 6 over n, then we're multiplying it by i, so it's just basically, if we multiply this by i, it's going to be 6i over n. And then, so basically we're going to do this whole thing, but then we multiply it by delta x. So delta x is going to be 6 over n. And so, what we want to do is basically take our function here, plug in this here, 3 plus 6i over n, then multiply by 6 over n. That's going to be our answer right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So our function is going to be x minus 4 times the ln of x. So wherever you see an x, just plug in what we have for the middle. So it's going to be 3 plus 6i over n minus 4 times the ln of x again. So whatever's on the inside, 3 plus 6i over n. And then what we want to do, I'm going to surround this whole thing in parentheses. And then we multiply it by delta x. And we know what delta x is, it's 6 over n. And so this right here is going to be the answer to our problem. So I'll rewrite it up here. So we have 3 plus 6i over n minus 4 times the ln of 3 plus 6i over n multiplied by 6 over n. So this right here, or basically this, is going to be the answer to this problem.